Welcome back to the show, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about who we want to cut in Smash Brothers. It seems a little cruel, you know, to to take the joy away from, from people that enjoy playing as these characters. But you know, it's just kind of a hypothetical thing, you know? There's some characters that uh, really shouldn't have been put in in the first place. So we really just got to call it like it is and, um, you know, lay down the harsh truth. Yeah, so 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 without further ado, we have, we have each picked one character that we wouldn't mind seeing get the boot. And the only rule here was uh, basically don't don't pick any clones, you know, because that's kind of the easy way out. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we'd all you know could do without the clones, but let's let's make things a little more interesting. Okay. All right. So for my choice, I'd like to present you with a little song. want to cut cloud i want to throw him off a cliff shouldn't be here and all his smashes are too strong Yes, Cloud. My ire for him. It is so strong, I can, I can harmonize with myself when I think about it. You ever heard the term, there goes the neighborhood? Well, Cloud's sad sack face somehow making it into Smash Brothers redefines the term for me. Cloud is the outsider. And like with anyone that's different in any way, I feel the urge to pick on him. W why is Cloud here? I don't understand. Like, he has zero presence on any Nintendo console outside of a couple tiny cameo appearances. Like, uh, Theater Rhythm and I think some Kingdom Hearts game on the Game Boy Advance, which isn't even his series. And that, that, that's about it. And then the square half of Square Enix, they, they show no interest in developing their, their relationship with Nintendo, despite Smash being the biggest game featuring their character in like a decade. So I don't think Cloud deserves to be on the roster and made me mad ever since he showed up. And, and, and that's not the only thing. The other problem is that he's like the easiest character to use in the game with a bunch of fast, brutal smashes that have priority over everything. The other day I played online with my friend against a team of two clouds and it was the least amount of fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so get this mopey character out of Smash before he justifies even more terrible characters coming in. Final Fantasy VII isn't even that good. Tell us how you really feel, Matthew. Man, it's good that Brawl and the family wasn't around when Cloud showed up, because, man, there, it, it just would have been nothing but Cloud shots. Remember how I kind of picked on, on Snake a little bit? Yeah, yeah. This would have been, been like that times 10. He would have showed up with his butt everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, this guy again. So I think we all dodged a bullet there. Now, to, to play devil's advocate for a second, would you change your tune if Cloud did come out in a prominent Nintendo game? For instance, if Final Fantasy VII or the remake of Final Fantasy VII were brought to... Uh, a Nintendo console. I think that would help a little bit because I, I feel like Smash should have some level of... Uh, it, it should have some sort of standard with Nintendo. You know, I know it's it's become kind of this all-star gaming, you know, celebration thing, but I don't think it's too much to ask that there's at least a little bit of Nintendo history within that that series, you know? Yeah. So I don't understand why even now, after Cloud's come to, come to Smash Brothers, like a, a couple of years ago... There's still like no Final Fantasy presence on the Switch or on the Wii U or on the 3DS besides, you know, the occasional spinoff here and there. Right. So I realize this makes me sound bitter, but eh, here we are. Here we are. And when I fight him online, oh, he's so annoying to fight online. The, all the aerials and the smashes, they're like, bah, bah, bah. they hit like three times and they send you flying. And it's not hard to do a smash attack. They're supposed to be like powerful, but kind of slow, you know, so you can punish them. But for Cloud, it's like, they, they come out like crazy, crazy fast attacks. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with them. I don't like them. So yeah, that's me. I, and I, I know there are a lot of Cloud fans out there, the Final Fantasy VII fans. I, Final Fantasy VII's fine. You know, it's, it's a good game. It's, 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 it's got a pretty vocal fan base. I don't hate it or anything, but I, I you know, look, I'm, I'm a big, well, I don't know if I say I'm, I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. But I feel like if they were going to pull from the Final Fantasy rep, they should have gone with something with more Nintendo history to it, like a Moogle or maybe Black Mage or something that kind of fit into Smash Brothers a little bit better, in my opinion. Now, now Matthew, would you say that your uh, disdain for Final Fantasy VII is rooted in a bit of jealousy that Final Fantasy VI didn't get the same sort of treatment and reputation? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> ah, interesting. Interesting. 
I don't know. I, I, I like games on other systems. Yeah. You know, I like Persona, Persona 4. But you'd like it more if it was on a Nintendo console. You can't prove that. You have no evidence <laughs> of that. Final Fantasy has, from 7 to 15, none of those games have been on a Nintendo system. That's since 1997. Now, we've gotten spinoffs and things, and we've gotten ports of the earlier games, but nothing from 7 to 15. By comparison, Dragon Quest, which is the other half of Square Enix, you can play every mainline Dragon Quest game on a 3DS. Well, a Japanese 3DS. But the point stands. On one system, you can play every mainline Dragon Quest game, including 11, the most recent one, but you can't play any Final Fantasy after 6 on any Nintendo system. That's ridiculous. Get, get cloud out of there. It's like they're deliberately ignoring Nintendo. Well, yeah, they, they almost invented the Crystal Chronicles series just to be like the Nintendo Final Fantasy games. And I kind of like those, but... Yeah, it's, it's obvious they don't have the like the the budget, you know, or that or the development time that that a bigger one does. Yeah. Anyway, that's my pick cloud. All right, Chris, go ahead. Let's let's hear what, let's hear what you have to say. Wait, is this going to be like one of those things to get on my goat? Get my goat. <laughs> what? Is this going to be like nest or something? Why would I do that? That's, that's why would you do that? Ridiculous assertion on your part. No, of course. Not. I was going to guess like Lucario, but now I'm going to guess. Whoever I like. Refit, <laughs> Ness, Lucas, all of them. Uh, well, I I can't uh I can't really downplay your instincts on this one. <laughs> all right, yeah, kick it, boys. Well, on whose rank and competence can we agree? He who thinks a good time is a Suprema party. Who's as tough as a burger? Suprema party sounds good to me, man. I want to have a Suprema party. Uh, we invite an orange kid to, to, to smash. All right, let me, let me do it again. Who's as dumb as a burger and talks about bees? It's Ness, Ness, Ness. <laughs> Who's as dumb as a burger? That's good. You got Adeline, who'd perform well. Ridley, man, he's oh so swell. And the DQ slime is as cute as a bell. But Ness, the unlikable, totally bikeable, eminently spikeable, ethically, immediately, empirically spiteable. That's right. You're right. It's Ness, Ness, Ness. Terrible. Why do we hate this? <laughs> we we just did that with no practice or anything, guys. I know, I know you you couldn't tell because it was <laughs> totally on point. Yeah, and but, my singing uh, was totally on key. <laughs> so you, so you, you pick Ness. Like, explain, explain why you 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 you've dared to to choose this as your as your candidate. Um, because it illustrates that I actually don't think that any characters should be removed. Oh, Chris, you diplomatic little swine. <laughs> you started that whole prelude to get me all riled up about Cloud, and everyone's going to hate me. And I thought you were going to gonna throw spitballs at someone like, uh, I don't know, Lucario or one of the Fire Emblem guys or one of the other Pokemon or... Okay. Something. Yeah. I mean, look. I, I okay. I'll, I'll I'll level with you. I just thought it was going to be funny to yank your chain. Um. So yeah, yeah, sure, sure. The 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 true response is yes. In an, in the next Smash Brothers, I'd say mix up some of the Pokemon. I'd lose a couple of them, like Lucario. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the, of the character. Uh, and Fire Emblem, I'd kick out some of them maybe. Uh, you know, but uh, that's but then, you know have some turnover and add a little bit to Metroid or Zelda. Uh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. kind of that's kind of where I'm at. So you know, I, I think all the characters are, are pretty good. Like I don't think any of them don't deserve to be there. I hear what you're saying about Cloud, but uh, well, you know, this is this, uh, it's like a, it's like a hypothetical thing. If if we had the power, like well, let's say if someone put a gun to your head and said you have to get rid of someone and smash. Yeah, I'd say yes. I'd say yes. You'd say no. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. It seems like we both approach this from different perspectives. Like you approach it definitely from a uh, Nintendo purist perspective. Yeah, uh, I, I think I'm more of a stickler for the for the roster. Like in terms of, 
uh, I don't know, having the bar kind of high for everyone. Yeah. Then at least and and that's that's kind of how I've seen it. But uh, you know, not everyone feels that way. A lot of people say, uh, you know, we should just lighten up and you know, let it be all stars, you know, across the board. Yeah. Which, so, uh, so we could we could just take uh, I you know I bet Sony would be pretty open to rolling in the PlayStation All Stars with Smash Brothers. So you know, oh boy, yeah, because that's what Smash needs. Get all those All Stars in here, yeah. Get get bring them all in. Yeah. Bring in Sackboy and and uh, Fat Princess. What else yeah. I make a- Fat Prince. <laughs> that classic character. Yeah. I do kind of like Sly Cooper. Yeah, Sly Cooper's pretty cool. Yeah. He uh, seemed, seemed, seemed like a pretty alright game from what Would I played. Would you be okay with Smash incorporating a lot of non-Nintendo characters? I mean, I I don't love the idea. I was pretty resistant when Snake showed up, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I like Sonic and Smash. I like Sonic because that makes a lot of sense to me. And he's he's pretty legendary. I like Mega Man, I like Pac-Man, I like uh I like Ryu, you know? Yeah. And Bayonetta is a little iffy, but I mean she like Nintendo published Bayonetta 2. They they made it happen. Yeah. Like that game would not exist without Nintendo. And Bayonetta 3, and, aren't they making that? And Bayonetta 3, yes. And and you know, Bayonetta won the she won the, the, the contest. So I mean that's that's fair is fair. Uh just man, yeah, just Cloud is 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 kind of a bridge too far for me. So we'll we'll see how it goes, you know. I'm still holding out hope for, uh, you know, Simon Belmont, and uh, I would actually like to see Bomberman. I think Bomberman has has earned his place in Smash. Yeah, I w- I would agree with all that. I, I I think we're really on the same page generally, except I'm not really bothered by Cloud. I, I especially if it means they're you know if they bring you know Final Fantasy VII remake to the Switch, uh, I'm I'm fine with Cloud then. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, we'll see. Believe it. All right, so uh, let us know what you think in the comments if you want to uh, kill me. <laughs> yeah, and if you want to buy my song, it'll be on uh, iTunes uh, and Ooh. in stores everywhere uh, in nice. uh, this summer. I want some royalties for that, for my awesome percussion job. Oh, yeah, you, you did great. I'll cut you in. So, so there you have it. And if you feel like putting our podcast on the chopping block next because of what <laughs> I said about cloud, please don't. Hey, maestro, don't you think that music's a bit too dramatic? Can you give me something with more of a beat? Yeah, that's better.